The use ion router hook is a React hook that comes with the Ionic framework by default. It gives us as developers more direct control over routing in an Ionic React application. So first of all, we would obviously import the use ion router hook directly from Ionic React. Then inside our functional component, we can initialize our router. And then if we wanted to simply navigate to a page, we could call the push method on the router by supplying the path name and the direction and also the action. However, the path name is the only required argument. If we wanted to create a dynamic navigate function, we could set up a dynamic navigate function which accepts the path and the direction. We could then work out the action based on the direction. So for example, if the direction is forward, then the action would be push. And if the direction was back, then the action would be pop. And again, this is just for history purposes with the, the root action. So if it was forward, we would push into the history. And if it was back, we would pop from the history. And then all we do is call the push method on the router and pass in the path, the direction and the action that we've already worked out. We could also call the go back function on the router which will navigate backwards. Or we could first of all figure out if we can go back before we call the go back function. And remember the can go back will just return true if more entries exist in the history and it will return false if not. So if this returns true, then we call the go back function on the router. So this was a simple explanation of the use ion router hook. If this helped you understand the use ion router hook, then make sure to give a little thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will hopefully see you in the next video.